Hey, this is Eric, and in this video, we're going to look at Google's Applied Digital Skills online lessons for you and your students. And a big thanks to Google for sponsoring this video. Digital skills are more important than ever for our students and for us as educators. Our students need digital skills to be prepared for the jobs of their future and to function in daily life now. As educators, we need digital skills to communicate more effectively with our students, provide them with more engaging learning experiences, and to stay organized ourselves. Thankfully, there are loads of wonderful resources to help all of us improve our digital skills, from blogs to YouTube channels to podcasts and more. One fantastic and totally free resource is Google's Applied Digital Skills. Applied Digital Skills is a totally free video-based online curriculum to teach digital skills for your students in any subject area and for your own professional development. There are over 150 ready-to-use lessons covering a wide range of age levels, tech tools, and topics. Let's take a look at the site and see how you and your students can start using it right away. First, you can access the site by going to g.co slash applied digital skills, or you can use the link in the description below this video. From here, you can click on the sign in button in the top right hand corner to sign in with your Google account. You will then get a screen asking if you are a student or a teacher. A student can take any course on their own or enroll in a class being monitored by a teacher. A teacher can also take any course or enroll in a class, but teachers can also create their own classes for students to join. Let's choose I'm a teacher. If you choose the option for I'm a teacher, you will now get a brief survey to get you registered. You will also be asked if you want to connect Applied Digital Skills with your Google Classroom. This is not required at all, but it does make it easy to connect your existing classes and students with these lessons. Whether you are a student or a teacher, you will now be taken to the Applied Digital Skills dashboard. Here, you'll be able to access any current classes, as well as click on the plus button to create a new class, or join an existing class, or browse through all of the available lessons. Let's take a look at the lessons provided with Applied Digital Skills. To do so, we can simply click on the Browse Lessons button from the Plus menu or up at the top toolbar on any page from the site. Here, we can explore all of the lessons, which, as of this recording, there are 160 lessons available, but the number is growing all the time. Although you can browse through all of the lessons, you can also narrow down the list in a few ways. First, you can use the search box in the top left to find a lesson by keyword. Next, you can use the filter by options to look for lessons by a specific age group from late elementary all the way up to adult learners, or by digital tool such as Docs, Drive, Gmail, Meet, sheets, sites, and more, or by the topic that is covered, such as art, computer science, language arts, math, science, social studies, and more. Finally, you can use the collections at the top to view lessons grouped by a theme. For example, the Google Workspace training is an excellent collection of 10 lessons to teach you all about Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, Drive, and Gmail. Just a few of the other lessons available include Write an If-Then Adventure Story, where students brainstorm story ideas and then create a story using interactive slides. Create a budget using Google Sheets, where students develop practical life skills like critical thinking as they develop budgets for purchases. Create a resume in Google Docs, where students brainstorm about their experience, skills, achievements, and other job qualifications, and then create, format, and edit a resume using a Google Docs template. Organize files in Drive, where you and your students can learn how to get organized with folders, files, labels, and color coding in Google Drive. Create quizzes in Google Forms, where you can learn how to use forms to prepare and distribute subject area quizzes, 
as well as how to administer forms to digitally request and gather feedback from others. Annotate text in Google Docs, where students engage texts as they read by using formatting and annotation tools to identify unfamiliar words and concepts, read for the main idea, and take notes alongside their reading. Let's go ahead and dive a little deeper into a specific lesson now. When you click on a lesson, you will now see a list of the content for that lesson. This will mostly consist of short videos, but may also include quizzes and optional extension activities. When you start the lesson, you will now watch short step-by-step -step videos that will teach you the content and walk you through the project as you complete it. A few things to note as you watch the videos. Below the video, you will find a link to view the transcript, as well as a drop-down menu to adjust the playback speed of the video. Also, clicking the three dots button in the bottom right-hand corner of the video will allow you to turn captions on and off, as well as to pop out the video in picture-in-picture -picture mode so it's easier to watch the video while doing the project. To the right of the video, you will see any specific directions for what you need to complete on this step. And finally, when you complete the video, click on the Next button at the bottom to move on to the next step and next video. Now you and your students can explore and complete any lesson that you would like without having to join a class. However, Applied Digital Skills also allows you as a teacher to create classes. This can make it easier for you to share lessons with your students and to monitor their progress as they work through the lessons. Here's how to do that. First, we want to head back to our dashboard page by clicking the My Dashboard link at the top of any page. Next, click the plus button in the top left-hand corner and choose Create a Class. If you use Google Classroom, you can choose an existing class to import into your Applied Digital Skills dashboard. If you do this option, your students from that Google Classroom will be automatically added to this class when they log in to apply digital skills. If you don't use Google Classroom or simply want to make a class that is not imported from Classroom, you can create a class manually. In this case, a class code will be generated that you will need to give to your students so they can join your class. Now that you have created a class, you can add specific lessons to the class that you want your students to complete. Simply click Browse Lessons to go back to the page listing all of the lessons. Now find a lesson that you want to add and click the Add to Class button. Now choose the class or classes that you want to add this lesson to. When students access this class, they will now see a convenient link to access this specific lesson. Another benefit of creating a class is the ability to track student progress. When you click on a class in your dashboard, you can then view details on how many videos each student has watched in each lesson. And that's it! With Google's Applied Digital Skills, you can integrate technology into any of your classes. And you don't have to be an expert with the tech tools. The step-by-step -step videos are already created for you and the lessons are ready to use. However, if you want to become a tech expert, you can complete any of the lessons as well for your own professional development at your own pace whenever works for you. So visit the site today at g.co slash applied digital skills and see what you and your students can explore, learn, and create. And as always, be sure to visit my site at controlaltachieve.com for all of my educational technology resources.